I'm back. I don't know what's going on with my phone. My phone started to act up and stuff. And yes, I'm doing it on my phone because I learned how to upload it from the computer. Anyways, here we go. Some high ass fucking water, man. Bruh, I would just be like, I'm gonna sink. I'm coming to this fucking. making this video because of everything that is going on right now currently and in, uh, in Texas in general. Um, down here a week ago uh, with all my friends and stuff like that, other YouTubers to, um, you know, go ahead and come down here and uh, live it up and grind and, um, you know, be a part of the city. And uh, as you guys know, we uh, have had a hurricane that happened and it's lasted three or four days now. For today's day four. Um, the hurricane, man, it's, I didn't think it was gonna get this bad, but it, it really has gotten really bad now. Uh, I woke up this morning and I just, yeah, seen everything and the city, uh, everything, all the cities around here, around Houston, um, everything looks bad, man. Like, everything's flooded. People's cars are flooded. Cars ruined. Homes ruined. Even the place, the place me and Emily were about to move in, we are going to have to wait and start looking elsewhere now because uh, the place is ruined. Like, everything, everything's closed. All the stores, malls, everything. Everything's flooded out. Uh, every, it's gotten worse than what I actually thought it was going to get. Um, with all that being said, man, uh, Emily now, Emily cannot come down here. She was supposed to come down here in a day or two. Now, all the flights have been canceled. Everything has been canceled and it's not safe for her to come down here yet. Uh, so she's stuck at home, still back in Indiana without us. And um, we're stuck in the house. We've been in the house for three days now. Uh, just dealing with a lot, man. Like we, you know, we're trying to, you know, be close with God and, you know, keep praying every day and stay as a group and uh, love one another and all that. Uh, but, uh, you know, we kind of, I want to help people. I know everybody else in the group wants to help people. Um, and, you know, even even the professional athletes around the city are uh, trying to help people as well, and uh, we want to be a part of that and help them. Uh, JJ Watt, and James Harden, uh, a lot of people, because uh, you know this is Houston, Texas, and even places places have collapsed due to a hurricane here in Texas. I never knew. I, I mean, I've never been in a situation like of a hurricane, so I've never lived in a warm place like this before because I lived in Indiana. <laughs> But now this is my first time living in a place like this. And to see, to actually see it for yourself in a person is a lot different than what you see on TV. Like, it's not a joke. It's real. Um, I'm being sincere with this video. I'm not, you know, I'm just, I'm really devastated right now. Uh, I didn't expect any of this to happen moving down here. And this just set, this set things back, like, it just, you know, it set things back for me, uh, my girlfriend, friends, family, stuff like that. I don't want to, like, I don't want to just, you know, up and leave and go back home because, you know, I'm not, you know, that's not what I came here for. I came here to grind, you know what I'm saying? I came here to put in work, came here, you know, <laughs> to, you know, build things with people. And 
that's what I'm going to do, guys. Uh, but I really want to help the city. I really want to help, really want to help as many people as I can, especially the homeless people and everything out there, guys. I feel really bad for them because I'm not going to lie. I've never, like, moving down here to Houston and seeing all these people before the hurricane even happened, like er earlier in the week, seeing all the people um, here in Texas that are homeless in this hot weather. And stuff like Sorry. that, like it just, it, it hurts me and it makes me feel bad, especially when, you know, especially when I see, you know, brothers out there struggling and stuff, you know, I mean, they yes, they got themselves in a situation, but you know, I'm still a caring person. It wouldn't hurt to give anybody a dollar, you know what I'm saying? Or two, so they can get a bite to eat, you know, a, a dollar from McDonald's or a dollar burger from McDonald's or a drink or something. Cause it's hot here in Texas, man. This is just all very tough. Um, It's hard to do, it's hard to even do videos, you know, being stuck like this, um, can't go nowhere. The vehicles can't go anywhere. Everything's flooded, the streets, uh, people's docks have even fell off of their backyards into the water, like a dock, like where you put your boats on people's docks. We can see it outside have even fell off and went into the water, which is really crazy to me. Um, like I said, a place collapsed. I don't, I, I mean, I'm not from here, so I don't know what exactly it is, but I've seen it online. It's called the Beltway or something like that. It collapsed due to the hurricane. And this is gonna last, like I said, for another, <laughs> it's gonna last until at least this weekend coming up. Today's Monday, today's Monday. And it's still going on. I thought we were gonna, I thought it was just a weekend thing. I thought we were gonna be good and everything from here on out, like starting today. But I'm wrong, and we're stuck in the house. Everything's still closed because we tried to go to Walmart and stuff yesterday, risking ourselves to leave and go there. But I mean, we had to we had to go around places because everything was flooded, man. But it it is what it is. Everything's closed. Um, nothing. Nobody's out right now. It's just there's people out there struggling, though. I know that. Uh, there's people out there walking through the water as we speak. People trying to get their cars back and their homes, trying to get everything out of their homes and put everything up. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of stuff destroyed, guys, and um, like I said, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't hurt to help anybody. Uh, uh, it would be, I'm going to leave a, I'm going to leave a PayPal link in the description. If you guys would like to be a part of it and help uh, help any help is needed whether it's a dollar 50 cents. It does not matter guys um, Even if it's a, a cent anything helps uh, so I'm gonna leave a PayPal link in the description and With that money we're gonna use it to try and help other people out and We're gonna use it to get things that we need because we're stuck But the thing is we really it's hard to try it's hard to get things still because I don't know if everything's closed, but I mean, we went to Walmart and stuff, like I said yesterday, and it was closed. And it was very, the, the next one was really far from me, and we called places, they're not answering. The mall was open yesterday, but not all the stores was open when we went there. Um, but uh, like I said, this is a video coming straight from the heart, man, Sincere, sincerely to you guys. Uh, if you are in Houston, if you are in Texas, any city around Houston, I love you guys. I'm praying for you and your families. Please be safe. Uh, stay true to the man above. And just, you know, right now is the time to bond with God and your families and just stay close with each other. Don't let each other go. And I'm sorry I paused it right there, but I, I really don't think, like, I understand he probably bond with God a lot. I really don't think he should have said now it's time. You should bond with God every day, regardless of what happens, regardless of anything. You should bond with your father every day to at least take an hour or 30 minutes. They, they, I'm not saying they rich, but they got money, so they don't have to go to work daily like we do. I think they should bond every day, not only when it gets bad or not only when they see a hurricane. I know hurricanes are bad. I never been in a turn. Well, yes, I have been in turn. And when well, we was actually, I'm gonna be honest with you, we were driving through it because we were trying to get somewhere. 
and we were driving through, and there was hell everywhere. It was bad, like it it was real bad. Um, but we made it to where we were going. We were safe or whatever. And another time, we was running outside. Me, and my siblings, and my mom we was running outside. We were trying to get some where low, you know, because of the tornado. But um, you should pray to your God every day. Do not wait till it gets bad. Stay with Him every day. Okay, let's get back into this. You know, just. Just love each other, man. Cause that's, I mean, when when you're gone, that's all you got. Uh, family, friends, love, like you know, it's just it's something that you know you gotta build your that you should build your life around every single day. Because we wouldn't be here without the man above, and we still wouldn't be alive without the man above. So every day is right. a blessing, man, to continue to talk to you guys. And continue to, you know, yeah, even witness what's going on. No, I mean, even I mean, though it's a tragedy, it. it's bad because people are getting injured and stuff like oh, that. But it's going to all pull around at the end. Um, this might take a while because the damage that's happened is really bad. I don't know where we're going to go move now because the place that we were moving in is, it's everything's, everything's damaged, man. Uh, the whole, all these cities yeah, around here, it's just, it's crazy yeah. how it looks out there, man. It's yeah, really bad getting on the internet and looking at the pictures, guys. Um, I can only tell you guys so much. It'd be better for you guys to see it yourself. Uh, and like I said, if you are here in Texas, I'm praying for you guys. I love you guys. Uh, stay true to the man above. And, um, if I see you guys, don't be afraid to say hello, what's up. Uh, I will talk to you guys. I can pray with you guys and stuff like that. Help you guys out if you need it. I love you guys. Like I said, man, thank you for watching this video. It's sincere from the heart, man. And uh, pray for the city of Houston. Yeah, um, sorry, this other video, it popped up when I was trying to cancel it. But, um, yeah, you guys, be, be thankful for what you got, and, because everybody is not as successful, like, I, I argue with my husband every day, because he'd be like, I hate this, I hate this, and I hate that, and I hate this, and I'd be like, don't keep fucking saying that shit, because I hate when he say that, I'd be like, don't keep fucking saying that, because... For one, there's people out there that will love the weather that we have. That will kill for the fucking weather that we have. Don't keep fucking saying that. Because he's from California. He's not from where I'm staying. And... Oh, fix that just, that just. He not from where I stay at. He from California. And it's just that I hate when people complain about the weather. So you gotta do stuff for a reason. You know? And it's not only God's fault that the weather is acting up. It's our pe us people fault because of global warming that people don't want to admit to that's happening. Because of global warming, the world don't know what the fuck to do anymore. So it's just like, fuck it, we fucking up every damn thing. But anyways, you guys, be safe out there, be blessed. And do what y'all can for the people in Texas. I'm praying for you guys. And for Emma Vaughn, for Chris and Queen, for Josh, all of them, Trey and Trey Vine. I'm praying for all of you guys. Even people that's not YouTubers, I'm praying for you guys. Um, be safe out there. We love you guys. I'll send some money um, through PayPal. And we love you guys. Bye. Oh, wait. And anybody else who see this video, please do not forget to like and subscribe to their channel. And watch, like and subscribe to my channel. And send money out if you have it. I'm not saying send nothing more than $5. I'm saying send money out because that is horrible. I never been in a hurricane. My mom says she have, but I haven't. I have never been in a hurricane. I've been only in a tornado and not actually in the tornado. I was in the area.